Her up behind the wheel with your arm around your sweet one, your old mobile, and you're barreling down the boulevard. You're looking for the hardest Saturday Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out one of my favourite songs of all time and it is The Heart of Saturday Night by Tom Waits. Extremely powerful song. I just It does something special for me, this one. I, I'm not exactly sure why, but it's truly beautiful in my opinion. Uh, quite a few interesting things going on here. There's the really beautiful finger-picking intro uh, and then we've got an interesting kind of finger-style thing going on to perform the rest of the tune. It's pretty close to the original recording. I can't tell exactly in the verses. It might not be exactly it, but it's, it's, it's at least pretty damn close. Um, now the intro, uh, it's almost certainly going to be easier if you've got the tab in front of you. Sorry to kind of push you in to buy my stuff, but you might want to check out the acoustic songbook. Uh, it's available on justaguitar.com uh, if you want to have a go at this one. I'm going to do my best to explain it to you, but it's pretty complicated. It's going to be complicated even if you've got the, the tab there, because there's quite a lot of interesting things going on with the, uh, with the pick in hand there. But uh, I'm going to ex I'll do my best. Uh, it's drop D tuning, so the first important thing is to tune your thickest string down to the note D. Just use your open fourth string as a reference and tune your thickest string so it sounds the same. Sounds great with this big fat D chord, you know, a lot of body behind it. Now, uh, in the intro, the big thing that's going on is this movement of the thumb between the, the, the bass note and, and further up the, the chord. But probably first off, it's going to be easiest to explain the chord grips to you and then go through and explain the fingering. So. The, the first chord we've got is this D6 chord, which is open, open, fourth fret, second fret, open. And uh, nothing on the, you're not playing the thinnest string there. Using your first finger in the second fret of the third string and your third finger in the fourth fret of the fourth string, uh, noting of that that first line, you're gonna use your, it's open A string, open D string, third finger, third finger, going down in the second fret of the fourth string and sliding up to its position for the D6 chord. So, then it's all just finger picking. It's the pattern that's important there because the chord's staying the same. Then it's going to a G with a B bass, which is first finger, second fret, fifth string, uh, third finger in the third fret of the second string. Lift off your first finger for the G with A. Then we've got a regular G, but because we're in drop D tuning, our third finger is reaching over to the fifth fret of the thicker string. First finger is in staying, well, it's staying, it's moving to where the third finger was before, which is the uh, third fret of the second string. Then we've got this G with an F sharp bass, so we're just uh, lifting off our third finger, putting our second finger down on the fourth fret. Uh, leaving our first finger where it was. Then we've got a big jump to an E minor 7, which is second finger on the thickest string, second fret, third finger, second fret of the fourth string, and little finger going down on that note D, that third fret of the second string. Uh, then we've got an A sus 2, which is pretty simple, just second fret, uh, second finger, fourth string. And then we're into our little chordy thing, which I'm going to talk about a bit more in a second. So uh, the deal here, if you're learning it from the, the music there, is to follow the fingering really closely. I made sure that this was really accurate because it's, it's kind of difficult. We got thumb playing, first finger, first finger, then we're doing thumb and index together. Then index, first, third finger. Now from that point on, the thumb is always playing on the beat, so the one and the and each time is going to be played by the thumb. So the very first, you're just doing, the thumb is going to be playing the thickest, the, the A string and the thickest string, and then first finger is going to play any notes on the fourth string, 
second finger is going to play any notes on the third string, and your third finger is going to play any notes on the second string, right? So that's just for that first, you know, the, the little first two beats of the first bar and the intro. Now from here, the bass is doing this. If I just play the thumb, the thumb part, it'd be going. Thumb. Right, that's just the thumb part. So be, really make sure that you're aware that, that that how much the thumb is doing. I'm going to go to a little close up and show you that as well. So it's okay, let me play this once through for you, nice and slow. Now, the first part, thumb, index, index. So that's the bit where it kind of doesn't fit the rest of the pattern. Now the pattern starts. You can see that thumb bouncing over between the bass note and the fourth string. Now in the second line, each time we've got G with the B bass, we're going to be playing the thumb and the M finger. I'm calling it M, it's P-I-M-A, uh, pulgar I think is the, the proper term for the thumb, I for index, M for middle, and A, I think it's called annular, but I'd have to double check. Uh, so anyway, uh, we got P and M, P-I, P and M together, P-I to G, G with an F sharp bass, E minor seven, Thumb index, thumb middle, thumb A7. Just playing thumb index, middle, annular, middle, I. And then we go into this next bit, which I'm going to explain while I'm in this close up, which is this strumming pattern. Now, this is just staying on the D to make sure you get this right. The thumb is playing the bass note. First finger is going to play the fourth string, and then we've got this little strum, which you can think of as the middle finger. I often kind of group my fingers together, so it's kind of like the, the, uh, the uh, middle and annular finger together. And then third finger is going to pluck the second string. Only it doesn't always pluck that one, it can pluck other strings. As that's plucking index, thumb, index, hip, index, thumb, index, hip, index. But it could be... That's the one I've written out for you in the sheet music as, as, as an example. But you can change it up as you like through the song. So as we go through the, the whole tune, we're moving from D7 to A7. So the bass note's moving. D, A. Bass, G with an A bass, G, G with an F sharp to E minor 7, A sus 2 to D, A7, D. You can really explore that idea, but getting that first, that initial thumb, index, hit, A would be what I'd recommend you start off with. Once you've got your hip with that, Start trying to vary the finger that plays last. Now I'm using my first. You could also use your second. Sounds a bit weird on this particular chord, having that open G string there, but that's the idea. The only way to get that down is to just do it really, really slowly and practice it up so you kind of, because it feels, it's kind of like strumming, you know, if I'm doing it. It is more complicated than that, but it just looks, at first look, like it's just kind of strumming, and that's what it should feel like. 
I'm hoping you've got the intro kind of sorted. It is pretty complicated, this one. And like I said, having the tab in front of you definitely make it a whole lot easier. If you haven't got the tab, try and write it down in your own kind of tab to get by because it really helps with these kind of patterns if you can see it in front of you and see the way that the thumb's moving and kind of maybe, you know, what I did on mine when I first learned it was I had the, all of the bass notes played with my thumb circled with a red pen just to make sure that I was getting the feel of it right, you know. Um, not the feel of it, the technique of it rather, I should say. Um, but let's move on to looking at the chord part now. I explained in the close-up as well this strumming pattern, right? So we've got this thumb first hit, and then one of the other fingers playing a note on the way up, either the A finger or the, the I finger. It depends on what the chord is, and you should learn to change it up during the song. So the D chord is what I was demonstrating. It's just kind of the, it's like it's shown at the end of the intro. We've got our second finger in the seventh fret of the fourth string, and our third finger in the seventh fret of the second string. Now if you move that shape back two frets and then play with an A bass note, you've got an A7. It's kind of without the third, but it's still just an A7. That's the harmony. D, A. So that's what I would recommend getting together first, is just being able to switch between those two chords with that pattern. Especially if you're going to sing, you're going to have to have this stuff sort of automated so you can talk and think about other things while you're playing. Now when it starts to go for the rundown, G with a B bass, all we're doing is just making sure the thumb plays the right bass note, so otherwise the pattern's the same. G with a B bass, G with an A bass, G, G with an F sharp bass, E minor, A sus 2, to D, A, D. And that's your part, right? Now, the other kind of variation of it is for the bridge, where it starts on the G with a B bass. Actually, I didn't really talk about the sequence, so let me go through it. So it's you D to A7 behind the D to A7, with your G over B to G over A, to G to G with an F sharp bass to E minus 7. Your A7 sus 2 and going back to D chord to A. So that's your first sequence. The bridge, G with the B bass for a whole bar, A7 sus 2 for a whole bar, and then half a bar of D, half a bar of A, and half a bar of D, and half a bar of A again. Then we got the walk down with the B bass, the A bass, the G to the F sharp bass, E minus 7 to A7 sus 2, and then we're back into that thing where it's moving between the D with the A7 bass, and then we got the walking down bit. It's gonna take some practice, but it's a really, really lovely song to play. And I'm sure you're really gonna enjoy it once you've done your homework. It is a really, really beautiful tune, and it's a, a nice one to play. It feels good. It's kind of, it's got this nice little lilt to it. It's not too difficult, but it will take a little bit of work to get all of those elements kind of working together properly. At least it's taken me a lot of practice and a lot of goes through trying to get this so it, it kind of feels good. But I really think it's a, it, you get a good result with it and it sounds pretty much like the record and, and, and it's it called you beautiful, 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 beautiful song. Tom Waits is an absolute pure genius. My favourite, probably my favourite writer. Well, maybe Neil Young. Neil Young or Tom Waits. Oh, maybe Neil Young and Tom Waits could get together and do a record. That would be awesome. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you for another song or something very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Cast her up behind the wheel With your arm around your sweet Oldsmobile and you're barreling down the boulevard You're looking for the hardest Saturday night Got paint on Friday Pockets are jingling And then you see the lights and you Get all tingling Cause you're cruising with a six You're looking for the hardest Saturday night Comb your hair 
Shave your face and try to wash out every train of all the other days. In a week, you know that this will be the Saturday you're reaching your peak, stopping on red, going on green, kissing. I'll be like nothing you've ever seen, and you barrel them down the road. Looking for the hardest Saturday night. And tell me, is it the crack of the pool balls? Neon buzzing, telephones ringing, it's your second cousin. Is it the barmaid who's smiling from the corner of her eye? Magic of that melancholy tear in your eye makes it kind of special. Down in the core, cause you're dreaming of them Saturdays that came before it found you stumbling. Stumbling out of the hardest Saturday night Of that melancholy tear in your eye, it makes it kind of special. Down in the core, when you're dreaming of them Saturdays, came before it found you stumbling, stumbling under the hardest Saturday nights. Found you stumbling, stumbling under the hardest Saturday. Nights. 